Guys, so you can see, we're rendering back an old building here. The blue key, the brown key. So, sorry about that. So what you can see is we've already started to fill it in with masonry filler. We'll sand that back. And then with the different cracks, we put the flexible filler into this one. And then we go over with the solid as well. Okay, so you can see all the way up we're going to need flexible filler. Okay, thanks guys. You can see the stuff, you can see how it turns all of the plaster, you can see it kind of puts some milky brown on it. Okay. So there we go there, see it there. As we come down we'll take one at each level. So guys here you can see all of this here there. And then you can see the difference between him and that. Here we are, we're still in the building guys. It's very chalky. We've, we've filled it all. And now it's just about making sure that the paint adheres to it. Okay. So you put it on very liberally, just to make sure. Just an area around windows. Pretty liberal as they say. Here we are at second level up from the ground just showing you Mark. We run into the grooves as well as you can see. Roland's brushing in the other sections that I can't get into. So just just to just to show you this section. And you can see how it turns everything a little bit darker. Okay. When you see that type of stuff, Roland will get in behind the pipes there. Okay? Thanks. Well, <laughs> you know, there we go, are into those areas. That's hilarious, isn't it? Yeah. So that's that's what you do. I know. Really yeah. Do you need more up there? Are you okay? I need more.
some of this has had an overlap too just at this section but sure look it's not going to do it any here want to show you this in here you can see you see in there it's all totally sealed up to the top and then I have a little track to put down into Pana his filler to come on down to run it off into the valley here I sealed up the top with caulk all the way along this is the only bit I have to come over a little bit and I've sealed it up I've also stabilized this area here. When that dries, I'll put a coat of paint on it. Okay? So we stabilized that area. And then I used a product called DB on top of the stabilizer, which is a gripper. And then I'll put another coat on tomorrow. Okay? Thanks. Okay, so we're just tidying up the front of the job and you can see I've filled, I've painted it and now I'm filling it. What I've done is I've used waterproof and filler initially, heavy duty stuff, and now I've gone with finer filler to fill it out the less the rest of the less rugged, less coarse, less indentations, less deeper.